Hi everyone, I'm Elijah D. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Uben, and today we're going to break down Don't Let Me Down by Sabrina Claudio featuring Khalid. And it sounds like this. All right, very beautiful and very simple song that we have here since we only have two chords for the whole song. We're in the key of D flat major and I will first play D flat major seven. Okay, so down on my left hand, I'm playing octave D flat. And on my right hand, I have F, A flat, and then C. So I'm playing the major third, the fifth, and then the major 7th on top. So D flat major 7, that's my first chord. Then I will play G flat major 7. And now I'm going to use this voicing. So I have G flat and then F on my left hand. And my right hand plays B flat and then D flat on top. Alright, so here I have the wood and the major 7 down on my left hand and my right hand plays the major 3rd and the 5th on top and basically for the whole song we're strictly going to go back and forth between D flat major 7 and G flat major 7 All right. and we also have this riff that we play in between Okay, so here on my right hand, I first play one D flat using my third finger. Then right after that, I'm going to play both A flat and then E flat. Down on A flat, I'm using my thumb and I have my fourth finger on E flat. Then right after that, I'm going to switch my tap note from E flat to F. All right, so now I have F on my fifth finger up here. And I'm still playing one A flat with my thumb down here. All right, so just like this. Once again, let's do this. All right, now I'm going to repeat that same movement twice. All right, let's do this once again. Okay, what right after that, you're going to replay one D flat, just like this, and then land on your right hand chord for D flat major seven. So F, A flat, and then C on top. Okay, so from the beginning, One more time. And now you're back on your D flat major seventh chord. All right, the only difference is you're playing your right hand chord one octave higher. Okay, quick recap. You have first D flat major seven. And then G flat major seven. Right after that, you have your riff. Okay, now for the rhythm, what I'm going to do for this song is play every chord for two measures. Alright, so I'm going to play my D flat major 7 for 
two measures and G flat measure seven also for two measures. Just like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to keep that same rhythmic pattern for the whole song. Now let's go through the whole pattern together. So first you have D flat major seven. One, two, three, four. Then G flat major seven. One, two, three, four. You have your riff, then go back to D flat major seven. And then repeat from here. And that's it for today guys, thank you for watching, if you love the content, please leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe, until then, see you next week for another year.